Good morning, good morning. What a wonderful day. Everything's going our way. Good morning, good morning. What a wonderful day. Everything's going our way. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? It's my yoga day today, and so my morning starts very gently, very slowly. I love my Thursdays. I love every day. Every day is different, as you can see from my videos. Some are bouncy, some are mellow, chilled. They all serve their purpose. I woke up this morning and um, I've been guided to come on here and have a little chat with you about um, the practice of setting intentions, casting spells, making dream boards, um, manifesting your best life ultimately, um, changing the words, changing your thoughts that you focus on. Um, it's, I don't know if I've spoken much about what happens after you, 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 you um, do these practices, when you decide that you want some change in your life, okay? It's very, very important. There's a few different stages. It is very, very important to be completely happy and grateful for where you are and for everything you have and um, for everything that you are, to completely accept yourself everything that you are and to know that you're perfect you are totally perfect okay perfection is not something to be attained to be attained it's what you are in every single moment you are perfect be thankful for all the people around you for you know for my cat my beautiful cat fluffy that's come here to have a little cuddle this morning for all the money in your bank for your job for your for your family for your friends for your home everything electricity for your bills be thankful it's really important gratitude is, is a very very important practice and, and, and when you get into the habit because it's just a habit literally of saying thank you for things during your day it will become second nature to you it will become natural to you yeah um and yeah you know i i've just made myself um my first cup of turmeric and ginger tea this morning. I've said thank you to the kettle. I've said thank you to the tea bag, to the ginger, to the water in my taps. This 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 gratitude practice of mine, which at first I needed to learn, has now become part of my everyday life. In 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 every moment, I'm thankful. Um, okay, so we've got the gratitude practice, very very important. And then we have the the actual setting the intention all right and it depends there's so many different ways of doing this you can journal you can cast spells you can set intentions on on on, on the moon phases you can set intentions every day if you wish um, it's completely up to you how you do this you can make dream boards you can you can envis envis envision 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 envisage <laughs> your dream life but it's very, very important that you focus on what you want, all right? You can simply say, I am, and, and you need to put it into the now and you need to actually say it as if you already have it, okay? It's so, so important. So if you, a very simple way is to say, I am so happy. I am so thankful that I am so happy, all right? Because that, that statement in itself is saying to the universe, I'm happy, and so you will then start attracting from that point. That point is your attraction. Feel happy, feel peace, feel joy. Then you start attracting it, okay? Um, now, when you say these things, when you set these intentions, cast these spells, whatever they are, the universe is going to help you attain the state that you're saying you're in, all right? So be thankful, be happy, be at peace, and then the universe will send you more of that, which means it's gonna remove anything from your life 
that is taking you away from a state of peace, joy, happiness and love. All right. And some of these things might be things that you've not expected. It might be people. It might be a job. It might be you'll, uh, you'll suddenly want to move home. All sorts of things because the universe, your higher self knows better than you what brings you to peace, joy and happiness. Yeah. We've, we, many, many of us have lived in our ego state for so many years, from birth generally, that we actually, we, we might know a few things that bring us happiness, but we, we might think that we're, there are some things and people around us that are part of our joy and happiness, but in fact they're not, and we're not seeing it, okay? So you might find yourself suddenly being drawn away from particular people from particular experiences from particular things that you've always done and it's really important to surrender to that and to and to follow that guidance to follow what the universe is showing you because it is your path to more peace joy love and happiness it is your path to your ultimate dreams and wishes okay so surrender yourself set your intention to be at peace all right your natural state is peace your natural state is your heart state it's your love center that is your natural state all right so set your intentions in the now moment i as if they're here um, things like if you want to lose weight if you keep saying i want to lose weight i want to lose weight i'm fat i need to lose weight what you're doing is you're attracting more weight and fat because you're focusing on those things instead say thank you for my fit healthy sexy strong powerful slim toned muscly youthful body say that every day and then you'll start to find when i started saying this about a year ago I suddenly found myself um, being guided to go on walks, being guided away from particular foods. I'm not fancying these things anymore. I might have them every now and again, but I was literally, I was shown that to move away from things and, and to step up of other things. In, and consequently, I now have, I, I've always, always had a beautiful body. We are beautiful. Remember that no matter what size or shape we are, we are beautiful no matter what, we are perfect. But if you wanna look different, then you need to accept yourself as you are now and start affirming, thank you for my beautiful, sexy, healthy, strong, slim toned, muscly body. You've gotta be thankful as if you already have it. And then as you state that, you, you change your, 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 your point of attraction. And then this is the thing, then you have to take the steps that the universe sends you. All right, and if you don't take the steps, then you stay where you are um, and, 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 and then you'll start maybe feeling frustrated and angry at yourself, which, are, which is more stuff that needs healing because there's no need to be frustrated and angry at yourself for anything whatsoever. You are perfect and you're always doing the best that you can. All right, so yeah, what I'm trying to get across is that you, if you want something, you need to be in that space of I've already got it. You need to feel that you've already got it and you need to keep affirming it in this present moment. And then you need to surrender to the, to the way in which the universe brings it to you. You would need to allow yourself to focus on your intuition, to listen to your higher self and to, to follow your guidance. All right. You'll see signs and messages everywhere. Keep at it. It can be a little bumpy, a little uncomfortable, a little challenging because it's taking you out of your comfort zone and your ego doesn't like it. Yeah, your ego doesn't like it. When you've been following your ego for, for, for practically your whole life, your ego doesn't like it when you choose to follow your heart. All right, but stick with it. Go the distance. You can do anything. You are an unlimited, beautiful being. You are full of love. You attract abundance in every moment. It's just a matter of what kind of abundance are you attracting? Where are your thoughts going? Your dominant thoughts are your point of attraction. Okay, your dominant thoughts are your point of attraction. You're not thinking those thoughts, you're choosing those thoughts and you can choose different thoughts. You can choose different thoughts. Okay, so if you think you're stuck, you're not. You're never stuck. 
You're never stuck, never. You have the power in every moment to change your life if you're not happy with it, okay? But you need to get happy with it in order to change it. It's a funny old thing, isn't it? You need to be grateful for where you are in order to get somewhere else, all right? And it's all about journey, not the destination. Remember that, find joy, find joy in every moment of your life. Okay, I'm gonna leave all, all of that for you to think about. If you've got any questions, write them in the comments. If, if anything that I've spoken about wasn't clear enough for you, write them in the comments and um, I will answer when I'm free to do so. Look at her, isn't she so divinely beautiful? Mm. Oh, I love this, I love this little girl. I love this little girl so much. Okay, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, I'll talk to you all soon. I love you all. Sending you all so much love. Take care of yourselves.